everyone, welcome to another edition of Plant Talk. In this video I will show you how to grow butternut squash from seeds. This is a butternut squash from the supermarket and I am now going to cut this squash so I can extract the seeds. The skin of this vegetable, also called the rind, is very tough. That's why I found it a bit difficult to cut. After struggling a bit, I took help from my parents and now it's nearly there. Now let me separate these two halves and show you what it looks like inside. As you can see, there are plenty of seeds in the bottom half of the butternut squash. I will show you by taking out one of the seeds. Once cleaned and dried, this will be ready to be sowed outside. I have chosen a few seeds which I will directly sow into the ground. I'm not sure if it is because of the weather, but my seeds have germinated rapidly. I have noticed that as my vines are growing, they look similar to the pumpkin and courgette. This is because butternut squashes belong to the same family the cooker bit of variety. It has the same jagged leaves, spikes along the edges and separate male and female flowers. The male flower has a long and straight stem, meanwhile the female flower has a fruit under the flower and it looks like a mini butternut squash. Unlike my experience with pumpkins and courgettes, it is nice to see male and female flowers appearing at once. Since it was the first time we were growing butternut squashes, we wanted the pollination to be successful, which is why we decided to hand pollinate our flowers. To do this, I snip off a male flower with a long stem, Carefully remove the petals and gently transfer the pollen from the male flower to the female flower. Over a period of a week, I hand pollinated three female flowers. When the female flowers are pollinated, the flower will dry out and the fruit will grow bigger and bigger. In order to protect the fruit from being damaged, we decided to put a cardboard under the fruit. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know butternut squashes are classified as a vegetable, whereas the pumpkin is classified as a fruit? This is despite them being in the same family. The butternut squashes are rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. The supermarket or green grocers only sell matured butternut squashes like this one. them as a fresh vegetable, we decided to harvest our butternut squashes at an immature stage before the rind started to harden. If I were to leave this on the vine for long, the rind would become a lot harder and the skin would turn into a peachy colour. Once matured, the butternut squash stores well for months and can be enjoyed in the winter season. So I have harvested all of the butternut squashes and it looks good. In total, this weighs 3 kilos. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, press like 
and share this video.